Guys, welcome back to the Brutal Mystery Channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a new announcement that Binance made recently about listing tranches token uh, or the chess token in the innovation zone, right? So the announcement reads as follows: Binance will list tranches in the innovation zone and will open trading for chess BNB, chess BTC, chess BUSD, and chess USDT trading pairs. on the 22nd of october 6 am utc so if you guys don't know i've uh, made a video about this particular uh, token a while back not that long back it was actually a just a month and a half back i believe and if you guys want to know what i thought about that project before please check it out from my channel uh, i think this is a good token and i had a feeling that this token would be listed on binance and that's exactly what happened right so Uh, so what is tranches uh, tranches is a yield enhancing asset tracker with varied risk return solutions on the binance smart chain chess is the governance token of the protocol and can be used for voting on governance proposals chess holders will receive will also receive 50% of the fees generated by the protocol as weekly rebate rewards so again there's a lot of information here which we'll slowly unravel the first sentence talks about what tranches is it's a yield enhancing asset tracker so it focuses on enhancing the yield and it's also an asset tracker at the same time so it tracks the price on performances of assets with varied risk return solutions on the binance smart chain so again the platform provides uh, you know different options for different types of risk takers so depending on uh, what your risk tolerance is you can use uh any of their high risk uh you know uh, profiles and uh, you know try to make a better yield through that right and this is all available on the binance smart chain blockchain because that's the native uh blockchain for the token right so just like any platform token this platform also has its own native token which also is a governance token and this is the chess token uh which offers governance uh you know kind of like functionalities to the uh, token holders and can be used for voting on uh, governance proposals so again if you want to vote on the uh, future of the platform uh you can basically like uh, use the chess token to participate in the governance right and chess holders will also receive 50% of the fees generated by the protocol so uh if you want to earn a passive income while also uh you know being uh able to have a say in the protocols uh you know directionality in the future then this is the best token for you because you receive uh you know uh, a portion of 50% of the fees that's generated by the protocol and as a lot of users are uh, using this uh, platform on a regular basis and the user base is increasing on a daily basis as well uh the rewards uh, that are going to be generated to the uh, token holders is only going to increase right and this is done on a weekly rebate reward basis so you get the rewards weekly so uh, you get paid on a weekly basis so you get four payments per month by just holding the chess tokens right so that's the quick overview of the chess token so let's go to the binance research page for this token so right off the bat The token is stated to be a yield enhancing asset tracking token on the Binance Smart Chain. So again, this token uh, enhances yield while also tracking the asset prices on the Binance Smart Chain. So um let's go uh, in detail about this project. So Tranches is a yield enhancing asset tracker with varied ret- risk return solutions on the Binance Smart Chain which consists of three tranche tokens, Queen, Bishop and Rook and its governance token Chess. So um this platform basically consists of uh three tokens but in reality it actually contains four tokens including the chess token and these three tokens are called tranche tokens and these are basically queen bishop and rook right so to keep the theme of the chess platform uh they have these names and this also uh you know along with the governance chess tokens forms the main uh core tokens of the ecosystem right the platform offers uh, various features including a dex tranches swap uh, money markets primary market and staking and network governance so again um, these tokens and the entire platform has a a lot of opportunities to kind of like um, 
you know, use DeFi, including the DEX that they have in built into their system, which is a tranche swap. Uh, they also have a primary money market uh, you know, kind of feature as well. Uh, you can stake the tokens and you can also participate in network governance, right? So uh, pretty much a lot of versatile use cases for this entire platform. Uh, Chess is the governance token of tranches and has the following use cases again. Uh, now let's talk about the major token and what are the major use cases of the Chess token, right? So governance, which is something that we already covered before, token holders can participate in voting for the additional add-on of Bishop Token's weekly interest rate. So again, uh, one of the main uh, governance uh, activities that happen is, you know, uh, determining the Bishop Token's weekly interest rates, which is something that, uh, you know, uh, chess token holders can vote on. And that's one of the main, uh, many examples of the governance within the platform, right? Uh, weekly rebate rewards is the ne uh, next big, um, you know, benefit of having the chess tokens. Uh, token holders receive a weekly BTCB rebate or reward, which is about 50% of the fees collected within tranches. So again, this is the this is basically their main kind of like um, uh, you know a feature that uh, attracts a lot of users because if you if you see uh, by holding uh, uh, chess tokens, you receive a small portion of the reward, as we discussed before. Uh, which accounts for 50% of the fees collected, you will basically receive a small portion of the 50% of the fees collected. And it's also paid out to you in Bitcoins. Again, to be specific, it's paid out to you in the BEP20 version of Bitcoin, which is BTCB, which runs on the Binance Smart Chain. But it's still Bitcoin, which, which means you can basically like cash it out for actual Bitcoins uh, through some bridges. Uh, or you know you can uh, withdraw it um, as a BTC from the REN bridge or you know uh, other other features thereby getting actual bitcoins in the process. So again, uh, these weekly rewards that you get on a weekly basis by becoming a token holder is paid out to you in Bitcoin, which also like makes this platform much more valuable, right? So uh, boost on chess earnings, users can receive higher yield farming rewards by staking chess again. If you want to increase or get a boost on your chess earnings, uh, all you need to do is by participating in yield farming activities within the platform, you can get a higher boost, right, which will help you earn even higher. So these are some of the main core uh, benefits of having the chess tokens. So tranches consists of the following major components working in conjunction. So again, just like any uh, platform, uh, you know, that has multiple different components or, uh, you know, constituents uh, of it. Uh, tranches also has three main, uh, you know, constituents, which are basically Queen, uh, a BTC index tracking fund token. Users can stake BTCB as the underlying asset to receive Queen. The token can be split into Bishop and Rook. So again, um, as we saw the three main tokens of this platform, one of them being Queen, and Queen is a token that focuses on BTC index tracking, right? So it tracks the you know index uh, of the Bitcoin uh, uh, Bitcoin itself. So this is the main functionality of the Queen token. And if you stake BTCB uh, on the platform, you receive the Queen token as a reward, right? And this Queen token can be split into Bishop and Rook if you want to. So what is the uh, functionality of the Bishop token. It's a yield bearing USDC token. So uh, Bishop token is basically USDC coin wrapped with some yield, which means by holding Bishop tokens, you get more yield, right? So Bishop holders collect variable interest rates that change weekly. Every week, the protocol reads the USDC interest rate from Venus and adds a premium determined by community voting to the rate. The total becomes Bishop's next week's fixed interest rate. So again, uh, as I mentioned before, Bishop is a USDC yield bearing token and you know you can collect interest rates uh, which are variable and it's basically voted upon by people who hold the chess tokens and it reads uh, the you know interest rates from Venus on a weekly basis and adds a premium which becomes the next week's interest rate, right? So that's basically how it's uh, uh, you know communicated. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Bishop is a valuable token because it provides yield, right? So the third token is the Rook token. 
which is a leveraged BTC token, Rook uh, holders borrow from the Bishop holders to have a higher exposure on Bitcoin. Learn more about how Rook's leverage rate is determined here. So again, uh, Rook is also a token similar to the Queen token that focuses on BTC instead of USDC. Uh, but Rook is a leveraged BTC token. It's uh, not just any BTC token, it's a leveraged BTC token, which means, uh, you know, uh, Rook holders, uh, you know, you can basically borrow from Bishop holders and have a higher exposure on BTC. So if you want to have a higher exposure, you can uh, technically borrow uh, from the Bishop holders, uh, thereby increasing your exposure, right? And if you want to learn more about the Rook uh, tokens leverage rate, you can click on the link here, uh, which is highlighted. As of October 22nd, 2021, which is today, the total and maximum supply of chess is 300 million tokens and the current circulating supply is 30.9, which is about 10.32% of the total token supply. So, um, although, uh, you know, this topic will be covered by us in a few seconds right now, uh, I still want to quickly touch upon the fact that, you know, uh, the token supply is quite high, you know, above the 100 million, 100 million tokens that, you know, I would probably expect as uh, a max supply for any other token. But if you see it's a good project with a lot of use cases and the chess token definitely gives you Bitcoin. So I think uh, you you basically get a lot from this token. So I don't, I don't think there is an issue with, uh, you know, people, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking at this token and, uh, you know, saying that, you know, it's a, it's a token that may potentially, uh, you know, make the price of the token slump because of its high token supply in uh, and also the low circulating supply with regards to its total supply. But I think the token is designed in such a way that people are more incentivized to stake this token to earn Bitcoin rewards and therefore a lot more of these tokens will be uh, removed from the market thereby increasing the price of each tokens themselves while earning Bitcoin rewards on a weekly basis, right? So th that's basically the main, uh, you know, uh, takeaway message here, but we'll cover on the uh, tokenomics in a short while. So if you see here, you have other information about the website, blog, Twitter, documentation, and explorer information for this token, which I highly recommend you guys to uh, click and understand. But uh, overall, uh, Coin, uh, you know, Binance Research has basically provided uh, a lot of information within their platform for this token, right? So going to their uh, website itself, let's see their website, which is tranches.com. Uh, Right at the bat, they have a pretty cool like uh, website with the black background and white uh, and yellow wordings. So if you see yield enhancing asset tracker with varied risk return solutions, about $1.7 billion in, uh, in total value locked of the, in this platform and about uh, 28,200 uh, Bitcoins deposited. Uh, and they're going to have ETH deposits coming soon as well, which is going to be really exciting because that's uh, going to definitely like cause a big buzzword. So you can basically uh, in the future stake chess to not only earn Bitcoin rewards but also ETH rewards as well. So that's going to be really, really cool. And that's, I think, uh, a big, uh, you know, upgrade from the last time since we covered this token. So uh, again, Queen is a uh, BTC tracking token with yield farming feature. The APY can basically be somewhere between 12.2 to 41.2 percent again pretty good APYs nonetheless you can create and redeem with Bitcoin by staking a Bitcoin or you can trade it with USDC Bishop is a USDC based uh, high interest yielding token uh, which offers about 30.4 to 78.8 percent in APY which is ridiculously high and if you click the I button you can see more information about this token as well uh, which I'll let you guys do but Again, there's a lot of, uh, you know, potential for people to make uh, a lot of, uh, you know, money just by holding on the Bishop token, right? If you take the Rook, it's a synthetic token with leveraged BTC exposure. And every time you hold Rook token, you have a 1.81 times leverage on Bitcoin. So uh, by holding one Rook, Rook token, uh, you're getting 1.81 times leverage for that for the amount that you de uh, deposited in BTC right so you can also trade that with USDC as well and chess this is the main token of uh, interest today it has a 37.8 million circulating supply as of now and uh, you have governance uh, of the tranche community tranches community by holding on to chess right and you get an APY of 17.6% again pretty decent APY with a current price of $4.68 you can mine it with pretty much any of these kind of tokens right so uh, 
if you lock it you earn btc which can be deposited here to get queen and you can basically mine uh, chess with queen so you can kind of like loop in the cycle which will definitely make you uh, you know uh, earn compounding interest right so here are some of the list of investors that they have binance labs has obviously invested in this and therefore they basically have uh, listed this token uh, three arrows capital spartan uh, long hash ventures and imo ventures are also other partners who have invested in this so not a lot of venture capitalists uh, with big names apart from binance labs but uh, now that binance labs has listed it uh, the question is will coinbase list this token right and since coinbase is listing uh, you know some uh, crappy some okay tokens and some really good tokens recently i think they may probably uh, you know list tranches because tranches is a pretty cool uh, high quality project uh, compared to other tokens that they've listed in the past right so i think coinbase may have a uh, you know uh, may have an interest in listing this token pretty soon but it's it's yet to be seen right and you have their social media information at the bottom uh, along with their bug bounty program and audit reports for several uh, of the audits that they've done uh, past present and future with, uh, you know audits uh, so overall they have a lot of information that can definitely uh, help people understand their project it's a pretty cool and straightforward project with not a lot of complications uh, if you are not comfortable you know investing in, in, in a, or staking any of the tokens uh, that you're buying for this particular project within their website i suggest you to maybe buy a small like test amount and then test it out with that uh, again not financial risk but you know if in case something goes wrong you can obviously like uh, you know you'll only be losing something that's extremely small right so don't put a lot of money and uh, stake it in in this platform because uh, you know it is it is a it's a good token but uh, you know you, you it's obviously still volatile and you need to be extremely careful about that right so going to the coin market cap page for the chess token this token is currently ranked three and fourth by market cap and it's trading at four dollars and 59 cents at the time i'm making this video with a 69 percent increase in the past 24 hours again uh, this is directly as a result of coinbase's announcement and coinbase's listing so the market cap is 173 million dollars 173.5 million dollars in market cap with 107.05 percent increase in market cap in the past 24 hours again this token is pumping right now so if you buy this token right now you are probably going to get wrecked but again it depends because if you're planning to buy this token and stake it you'll be earning passive bitcoin and again the token even if the token price crashes down you'll still be earning your bitcoin so uh, it's up to you if you feel like this token is uh, you know worthy to buy at this price point and you four more in that's all up to you you need to do your own research and be comfortable with it which price you want to get in but i would personally not uh, you know uh, get into this token because of how high it's already pumped i also look for capital gain appreciation not only the rewards themselves i also look for capital gain as well so uh, i want to make sure that i buy the token at the lowest possible price so they can buy more of those tokens and when the price appreciates uh, you know not only will you be getting those consistent btc rewards but you'll also get capital appreciation of the initial tokens that you bought in the first place right so i look for two rewards so if you're only looking for buying this token and staking it and getting staking rewards uh, you know you can do that but i suggest you to wait because this token is extremely like hot right now right so if you take a look at the max supply again 300 million tokens we already discussed about that uh, the circulating supply is shown to be 13 percent it could be somewhere between 10 to 13 percent at any given time but 13 percent makes sense because this token is pumping right now and therefore i feel like a lot of it, people are trying to get into this project which explains the pump and the the fact that the sub circulating supply has also increased because people staking their uh, you know tokens uh, will add more and more interest for uh, you know uh, other people to stake as well because as they hear about this token being listed on binance uh, you know they're going to come in and you know buy some tokens and either trade it or stake it to earn some btc rewards right so i think this token will definitely have some short term correction and so short term price slumping because of its max supply and relatively low uh, circulating supply uh, but i do believe that this token in the long run could be a really good investment because it can definitely give you extremely high capital gains along with the opportunity to earn passive bitcoin rewards continuously for forever right so that's basically the motivation for uh, this token to be like bought by uh, multiple people and i think this token will be continued to be bought by everyone uh, who are uh, you know looking into a project that earns some passive income right so that's that if you go to the charts itself you can clearly see that this token has been doing quite well in fact uh, even though this token is 61 69% uh, 
uh, you know, from the last uh, 24 hours, the token used to be much higher. It used to be more than, uh, I believe, um, seven or even seven point five dollars per token, which is pretty cool, considering the fact that this token, uh, you know, uh, got listed on Binance and immediately after the announcement, people started uh, buying this token in masses on Binance Smart Chain. And that's kind of probably cost the all-time highs of this token, right? So looking at the price of this token, you can clearly see that this token was only worth 40 cents uh, on the 20th of uh, July this year. And it immediately started climbing up rapidly, reaching a dollar, a dollar fifty sooner, and then taking a small break before pumping to a new all-time highs of close to like five dollars fifty cents or five dollars forty-eight cents. Uh, you know, during the mid of August, mid to late August, and then it had a little bit of a you know, downtrend, reaching two dollars and ninety-two cents on 13th of September. Then reached uh, peaked up again, reaching four dollars and seventy-eight cents. Went back down up, down, up, until making the new all-time highs immediately after the Coinbase announcement, uh, reaching uh, about $7.50, and you know, 50 cents, uh, you know, all the way from $2.87. So again, uh, this token literally did a really good quick gain, but if you see, the token literally like crashed immediately after. It didn't even last longer on its all-time highs uh, because this was big purely because of speculation. So people literally uh, heard the announcement, bought this token, and the very next day when the when Binance uh, listed this token, they probably sold it, right? So uh, that's the reason why this peak didn't really last that long, and the token is literally declining right now, right? So I would probably say that the best floor price for this token, now that Binance has listed this, would be somewhere between $4 and uh, $4 and, uh, you know, 25 cents, right? So between $4 to, $4 to $4.25 would be the best a price range to get in so if you're trying to buy this token you can wait till this token crosses below the four dollars 25 cents or the four dollars 20 cents which will also be a good dollar cost average opportunity because this token has performed quite well and at some occasions it has literally held uh, above the four dollar mark for a decent period of time right so i think this token being somewhere close to four dollars uh, 25 to four dollars 20 cents in that range uh, above the $4 mark would still be a good opportunity, but if you are lucky, this token can even go below the $3.90, uh, you know, which will give an even more cheaper opportunity to buy this token, right? So I think for now, this token is not a good buy opportunity. You need to wait till this token cools down before you can buy this token, right? Again, this is not financial advice, it's just uh, my personal opinion. If you take a look at the Bitcoin competitor, again, the Bitcoin competitor also uh, pretty much sim uh, similar to dollar comparative. Uh, the bit initial Bitcoin uh, price of this token was uh, 130 uh, I think 1,355 Satoshis, um, you know, on July of 20th. And then it literally like moved sideways for a few days before making a new all-time highs of about, um, I would say 3,400 Satoshis per token. And then it took a small break before crashing to, uh, you know, before like climbing to an all-time high, not crashing to, uh, uh, climbing to an all-time highs of about 9,000 Satoshis per token. It kind of took a cool down a bit and then uh, reached the 7,000 Satoshi mark before uh, going back up to about, uh, you know, 8,500, 8,300 Satoshis per token. And then it kind of slowly declined, reaching a relative lows of about 4,145 Satoshis per token before pumping to a new all-time highs of close to 12,000 Satoshis per token. And then it immediately reversed uh, back. Now it's kind of in the reversing trend. So Bitcoin comparative would definitely be risky. And the problem is that since the Binance Smart Chain token, Buying this token with Bitcoin on PancakeSwap or any of the Binance DEX is going to be hard and tricky because there won't be a lot of liquidity. Yes, you can definitely buy this token with Bitcoin on Binance, the centralized exchange itself, but you know it's better to always buy this with the stable coin because it seems like the Bitcoin comparative is uh, suggesting that this token is even more volatile on Bitcoin comparative, right? Even though the pattern seems to be similar to the dollar comparative, it seems like this token is extremely volatile and risky compared to the dollar comparative. So I would probably suggest you to buy this token with uh, USDT or USCC or BUSD uh, instead of uh, using Bitcoins or uh, Satoshis because the price volatility could be definitely be extremely high, right? So that's uh, basically it for the charts. Uh, if you take a look at the markets itself, the token is obviously available on Binance with a lot of liquidity from them. You can also get it from PancakeSwap and Dodo Exchange on the Binance Smart Chain, right? So these are some of the main exchanges where you can get it from. It seems like Binance is the only 
centralized exchange top centralized exchange that has listed this token uh, i think a lot more centralized exchanges will start listing this token i can see kucoin listing this token maybe even huobi global or okex listing this token as well and if you are really lucky we can even get a coinbase listing for this token which would drive this token price all the way to 10 dollars per token which is easily possible right so that's basically my short term verdict for this token i think this token can easily reach a 10 dollar per token mark in the in the upcoming months but by the end of this bull run i think this token can easily go to 12 dollars per token before coming back down making a floor price of somewhere between 6 to 7 dollars per token and then in the long run which is somewhere between 2 to 5 years this token can easily cross the 15 dollar mark and if we are really lucky we can definitely uh, you know be somewhere between 15 to 17 dollars 15 to 16 dollars per token which would be a really cool gain Uh, from this price point right and all the while you'll be earning bitcoin rewards by just taking this token so that's basically the biggest benefit of this token i really love this token i think you can definitely stake your cake tokens on uh, the chess cake uh, you know syrup pool on pancake swap to earn this token for free passively or you can buy this token from binance if you want but i feel like you should do your own research before you put your money on this token and if you can you know if you have some cake tokens that you, that's lying around or are not doing anything or if it's in a part of another farm and you really like this token you can uh, unstake it from your other project and stake it on this pool in pancake swap in order to earn passive uh, chess tokens right so i think this token is definitely going to moon extremely well uh, with the binance listing uh, this token's liquidity is extremely secure and it's established itself as a very uh, good quality token uh, being listed on one of the most popular centralized exchanges in the world right again that's just my opinion guys again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video Bye